Hi and welcome back to section 2 Implementing Simple Ensemble Learning Techniques in Python In the previous section we got an introduction to ensemble learning and we then configured our environment. In this section we are going to look at some of the advantages of using ensemble learning How to use ensemble learning for classification Implementing ensemble learning for classification How to use ensemble learning for regression and implementing ensemble learning for regression with some hands-on code. In this video of section Problems in Ensemble Learning Solve, we'll see bias variance trade-off and advantages of using ensemble learning. Before we get into bias variance trade-off, let's quickly understand what is bias and variance. The bias is an error from erroneous assumptions in the learning algorithm. We get a high bias when the model that we are using is not complex enough to learn the relevant relations between features and the target output. For example, in this graph we have two classes, red and blue, and we are trying to capture the relation between these two classes with the help of a straight line. As we can see from the diagram, the relation between the two classes is not linear, and such a case is said to have a high bias. In the case of variance, we get the error as a result of model becoming too sensitive to the fluctuations in the training set. We say a model is having a high variance when the model captures random noise in the training data rather than generalizing to the actual problem. For example, in this graph, the line is trying to fit the data too perfectly, which can result in the data being too specific to the training data. So bias variance trade-off is a trade-off between decreasing the bias at the cost of getting a high variance or decreasing the variance at the cost of getting a high bias. And this is one of the areas which ensemble learning comes into picture. Let's look at some of the advantages of ensemble learning. Ensemble learning reduces the variance, which means the aggregate opinion of many models is less noisy than the single opinion of one of the models. In many machine learning algorithms, we find the appropriate solution by optimizing some function. This could lead to the optimization algorithm being stuck at a local minima. With the help of ensemble learning, the final combined model is less susceptible to give values corresponding to local minima. Suppose after training we get three models, M1, M2 and M3. Let's say these models are indistinguishable with respect to their training error, but they may have different generalization performance. So a safe option would be to use them all and average their outputs. In this video we saw some of the advantages of using ensemble learning. 